Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the Elgato gaming uh, streaming deck. And uh, what I want to explain in this way is how the hardware will work. And I'll create a bunch of video where you can learn how you can create the plugins too. So before we're starting I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel and you can do it in the right corner below and press on the thing. And uh, I hope you want to share and like this video if you want. If you have any questions, please make a comment below and I'll try to answer you. So the first thing I want to speak about now will be what is the Elgato Streaming Deck? And uh, you can have the Stream Deck hardware in, in the keyboard you can see over here to the right, uh, to the left hand. You see this one. And uh, you can download it for your iOS device here on the right hand. So it's completely free if you want to download it from the iOS. Or you can buy the hardware so you can have uh, on your on the desktop. The iOS comes with the 15 keys and the discs, uh, the deck you can buy, it's coming up with the th uh, 32 uh, keys. Every key can combine and you can build uh, folders on every key so you can have even more. So right now you can basically have so many keys you don't need that. Uh, I have self uh, a medium size and that's what I want to show when we come for the next videos. When you have to decide which type of uh, hardware you want or software you want to use, then it's time to build your own application. And the, the Stream Deck application will show up like this. You have uh, buttons here and then you have a list of application plugins as it's known and then the configuration for every plugins. You can put it inside to uh, three steps. This uh, you have a canvas area. The canvas area is where you drop the uh, action inside, and then you have the action list here on the in the right hand. All the actions could be OBS, Soundboard, Stream Deck, and you can if you have your own one, it will be created like custom. When you drag a, a plugin to your to a canvas area, then you will uh, be able to to see this uh, button, and when you click on it. You will going down to the property inspector. All the plugins can be coded in like JavaScript, C++, Object Objective C, and more. It depends on you running on JavaScript engine or you want to running on the runtime code, the compile code, sorry. And that's the difference between that. The interesting is how the architecture of the plugins would be, and the Stream Deck hardware you have here on the left one. Then you have the, the plugin manager. This is the plugin manager where you can change your plugins. Then you got the plugins based on what you want. We will speak with the WebSocket in the, in the JavaScript. I have not testing out the other languages, so I cannot be sure how that's working. But in when you create the JavaScript plugin, then you will open the WebSocket connection and then you will speak together with the plugins manager. And the plugin manager has translated the data to the Stream Deck hardware or the software. So that's how we can do this. And uh, one of the nice things you can do, every time you press the key down, you can register uh, when the coordinate system will working with the press the key down and keyed up. And uh, that's it. That's what I want to speak out in this video. I really hope you appreciate that. And I hope you understand the basic from the Elgato Stream Deck. It's very nice hardware and I'm using it when I'm recording and I'm using it to play around with to get better understanding how it's working. So I really happy with my product and uh, yeah, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can press the link below in the right corner and uh, share it if you like this and, and hit the like button and don't forget to smash the comments uh, with the, about how you're using the Elgato products. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.